So I'm here in Sparks, Nevada, just about a mile or two outside of Reno. Now, when you're cruising through a town like this, and you drive by and you see a barbecue trailer, and then you see yourself an old hickory pit, an old hickory pit, an old hickory pit, and another old hickory pit, I bet you they're doing some real deal barbecue. This is Carolina Kitchen and Barbecue Company. Half pound pork plate for John. I base all my barbecues off of Carolina Kitchen. You can smell the smoke, and it just calls you in. Three rib platter. How do you describe the place to people? I always put these guys in the great category. We just load up on barbecue, and I have to waddle myself to the car. But Chef Clay Cobb didn't start out as a Q connoisseur. After working in fine dining back east, he moved to Nevada, opened up this joint with his mom, and got back to his family's southern roots. His dad was from the south. What kind of barbecue you guys doing? Carolina-style barbecue. What kind of wood are we smoking with? Almond. Really? You're doing pulled pork, you're doing wings. And then people demanded brisket? Demanded. And we decided to step up the game, use Wagyu brisket. Your Wagyu brisket platter? Super tender, super juicy. Wonderful smoke. I've eaten myself into regret with this brisket. All right, let's get into it. We're just going to trim the brisket up, and we're going to make the rub. OK. Kosher salt, coarse black pepper. Of course. Granulated garlic. Mix it up, a little mustard schmear. I have seen some liberal rubbing of briskets in my life. This guy might take the kick. Let it tack up a little bit, you know, an hour. Go to the smoke. 2.15, about 15 hours. We're going to wrap it up, finish it off till it hits about 2.03. Pull it. Yeah. We let them rest for about an hour, hour and a half. You have got to explain to me what we're doing. Collard greens. What happened to the greens? Well, they're chopped and blanched. Where'd you learn this method? Believe it or not, it was my Italian uh, college buddy. I mean, that's a new one for me. Learn something from everybody. Let's see how they taste. All right, bacon, onions. Sweat the onions, add the greens some water and some beef base. It's a new one. We'll let this go for about two hours. Apple cider vinegar, some salt. We're off to the races. Next up, moonshine barbecue sauce. I mean, like, legit moonshine. Shine, shine? Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. It's good, though. You should get a second opinion on that from the camera and just see what you think. Camera, what do you think? There you go. See, All the right. camera's not driving. That's right. Camera, camera, stick with me. Ketchup, seed and salt. Moonshine? You do it like that, son. Liquid smoke, cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce. Hot sauce and some sugar. I like this sauce. Just bring it up to a boil, and we're good to go. That's some good looking brisket. I mean, that is about as juicy and tender. That is killer. Some of the best brisket I've seen outside of Texas, actually. Not that I think this brisket needs sauce. Mm. In the world of collards, boy, I'll tell you what, tender and cooked down but still enough dextra. That's great, man. This is like you've been working with a pit master down in Texas for a while. A real deal. Well done, man. Thanks.